Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Logic Bombers. I am your host, Tier Malice, and this is Just a Thought. Just a bit of a warning. We don't necessarily believe the crap we're spouting. We just love to get into a good argument. Uh, no, not that. The debate kind. In today's episode, I'm going to try to convince you that ball pythons are actually a domesticated species. Now, according to Wikipedia, the ever-correct source for everything, ball pythons are a semi-domesticated species. Wait, hold on, that's not a thing. There we go. Or routinely bred in captivity. So let's start with a little history. Ball pythons are native to sub-Saharan Africa, meaning south of the Sahara Desert. The ball python's common name is Python regius, which translates to royal python. This name originates from the fact that they were typically used as a type of living jewelry among rulers and especially rich merchants and nobles. This is a custom believed to have extended all the way into Egypt. This is because of the connection snakes have to the Egyptian god Widget. No, not somebody's dog, sorry. Wajet. Even though Wajet is typically associated with the Egyptian cobra, wearing any type of snake would imply a connection between Wajet, the god, and the ruler of Egypt. Snakes, after all, were the symbol of Wajet, and Wajet was the protector of Egypt, specifically the Upper Kingdom. The ruler most famous for her connection to snakes is in fact Cleopatra, who is believed to have committed suicide by means of an asp. In all likelihood, it is more likely that she went to obtain her favorite piece of living jewelry, the ball python, and found that it was instead replaced by an asp, which is similar both in head shape and size. In fact, it is entirely possible that references to both asps and vipers in ancient historian reports could in fact have been ball pythons. They are, after all, very similar in size and, in some cases, appearance as well. In either case, south of the Sahara, ball pythons have been bred and sold and given to rulers and dignitaries for years. Thousands of years. That's about 4,000 years of being bred in captivity. I'm pretty sure that we've nailed it by now. Now, the Merriam-Webster's Dictionary says that the definition of domesticated is to breed or to train an animal to need or accept the care of humans. And ball pythons are extremely easy to care for. They are listed as a beginner snake. They are very docile, they are very reluctant to bite, and they are easily switched from live prey to pre-kill, meaning the only way they eat is given food that only humans can give them. So, what do you think? Are ball pythons a domesticated species? Do I have you convinced? Leave your comments in the comment section below and tell me your opinions on this. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, give it a thumbs up. This is a new series we're trying and so the more feedback that we have, the more improvements we can make for the next episode. Which, I'll give you a hint. It's about Pikachu. My name is Tier Malice, and I will see you next time on Just a Thought.